Hello there guys, it's me in Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 18 of Europa Universalis 4 as Vijayanagar. And actually things are going decently well. We're in a little bit of a war with Jampur at the moment, they're almost fully occupied and as much of a pain as that is, being in this war for so long, and again we're losing quite a bit of manpower and we're not losing money, which is a good thing, it's just our manpower that we're bleeding dry. Um, I'm trying to get enough war score with Jampur who are a secondary participant in this war. I'm trying to get enough war score against them so that I can get them to break their alliances with Orissa because that'll make going to war with them in the future a little bit easier. And I'm also trying to get them to break their alliances with Sindh because that'll potentially make that easier. Uh, Malra are going down there once again to try and deal with our rebels, which is good. Hopefully they will win this time, although it's not looking that likely. Um, let's go and move on to that fort there. Trying to keep my eye on a couple of things right now because we are trying to siege out one more of Jean Paul's forts. Come on, Malwa, don't lose. I know it's going to be close. Yeah, they did it. Fantastic. And we've now actually got another rebellion that's popped. With so many different rebellions popping right now, but once they are done, they are done. It looks like Jean Paul's army is on the move. Not particularly uh, happy about that. I do need to constantly keep checking on them and see if they will accept the peace deal. Looks like they will. Um. Oh, they're no longer in actually uh, allied with Sin. So we're going back to the, the peace deal we had before. Can we take some money from them? Yes. How much? Quite a bit. So 269 ducats, actually. Yeah, 269 ducats. Plus war reparations. Plus they'll be humiliated. Plus they'll annul, uh, annul their um, alliance with Orissa. Yep, that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and send our demand there. So that is fine. Let's go ahead and move our armies back into our own territory because they're a little bit beaten up. And now we need to go and transfer these provinces here over to our vassal because I don't want them. Um, well, I do want them. Uh, I just don't have the um, ability to take the overextension. Now I'm tempted to try and take a little bit more. Might overextend them quite a bit. I don't mind them being overextended. I just, I just don't want to be overextended. And if we could take this one, it'd give us two more borders. Let's see if it's possible. So we want to go and uh, sue for peace. We want all of these, if possible, to go to our vassal, which they will do. And we would also like war reparations. And as much money as we can get out of them. Um... Aggressive expansion, we're not bothered about. Doesn't tell me what the overextension is, I don't think, for, for them. They're going to be quite overextended, but... Um, don't really care. There we go, that's fine. So, we're no longer at war. We still have some rebels to deal with. So, let's get these guys down here. This army can go and start to unsiege stuff. We need to... Um... Truce with Bamanis has ended. Oh, that's so tempting. Um, another revolt. So many revolts now. We need to... Um... Where are we? Cancel our military access there. Because that's costing us a fair bit. And we'll go ahead and deal with all of these... Revolts. We've got another one down here on these. Just re rebellions everywhere. Of course, Mal was not going to be helping us any. So you guys come down here. And you're in grasslands. There's no river crossing. We should be able to beat them up. So yes, uh, let's go. Act let's actually um, just quickly go back to Bamanis and make sure we are um, building a spy network. We do want to make sure that we've got claims on everything. Then I can start feeding one of my other vassals. Then there we go. Start unsieging some of these provinces. Then I've got to go down there and kick the snot out of those guys, which is going to be a little bit unfortunate. Uh, these guys might as well finish there now. So we're making money, and we're 8,000 manpower down again. Let's get you guys down here. So while we've got some money in the bank, do we want to... First of all, do we want to build some forts in some places? We probably do. 
having forts is is never a bad thing especially some of the coastal ones i think goa could really do with having a fort um let's go ahead and grab one there and let's see what else we can get in terms of buildings what about workshops anywhere that's going to give us a decent boost 0.17 there i suppose and um not temples it's the marketplaces that tend to do well for us nothing is particularly high we've got a 1.6 there a couple of 1.5s i suppose um yeah i think we'll leave it there for the time being definitely want to save some money up i can definitely see another war with bamanis happening quite soon but we do definitely want to regain our manpower first. Bamanis should be relatively easy to take out. They don't have any allies. And I can probably give all of their provinces to my um, to my vassal here. Which is kind of the plan. Um, we've got a fair bit of power projection now. So as soon as we've dealt with these rebels. Now they're in grasslands. If we can engage them in that province that they're in. There is a river crossing penalty. In fact, is there river crossing penalties from both directions? Yeah. So it doesn't really matter which... Um, but we soon... Know, oh, they're actually teleporting somewhere. It takes them a while to teleport. But let's go in and try and take them before they do teleport. River crossing... Mind you, I say river crossing penalty. We have um, two manoeuvre and they have no leader. So we won't actually get the river crossing penalty. Oh, would you look at that? There's another revolt. <laughs> Um, let's go and see if we can take them. That is in the hills. It's not necessarily advisable, but we're already losing, um, we're already gaining so much more, or, uh, separatism because we are letting these rebellions constantly pop. This is not going too well. We are getting some decent rolls. Are we going to take them out? Yep, yeah, we are. Okay, so that, that hurt the manpower. That really did hurt the manpower. Um, so what I want to do now is, yes, I do want to go to war with um, Bermanis, and I need to get my armies back up here. This shouldn't be too much of a problem, actually. Uh, we should be able to take these guys out fairly well. I think we've still got claims on everything. They still don't have any allies. So what we will do is we'll get our armies all up there, as few as they are, because we've only got, we've literally only got four provinces to siege out, and we have got our allies around to help us, so we should be okay. Should be okay. Um, our naval vessels are out again, which is fine. How much money are we making? Decent, decent money. Let's go ahead and tell these guys not to go home at war for the time being, because I'm about to start the war with Bamanis. They didn't have any ships, so I'd like my um, like my trade fleet to carry on being a trade fleet. Oh, would you look at that? We have another rebellion. Well, it looks like we're dealing with that before we do anything else. Must be coming up to the uh, to the last rebellion now, surely. So we need to keep Andra happy. Um, I may be tempted to take Andra uh, to integrate them at some point, and then we can start taking land for ourselves. Hopefully, we'll get out of this legitimacy slump at some point, and be able to do something there. Of course, we have split Arissa in half, which means they're now getting beaten on by, um, is it Bengal that's beaten on them? Uh, it is, yeah. So, Bengal are actually beaten on them because we've split their land up and they can't really move their armies around. Which is fairly standard. Now, you guys have actually moved a little bit closer to me, which is nice. We can take a new tech, which is an admin tech. We'll get some production efficiency, so let's go and grab it. Now, remember, I can actually take some land from um, Bamanis for myself, but I can't go above 10% overextension. So, we do have to keep that in mind. Um, let's go and move these guys down here. National tax modifier or some ducats. We'll take the tax modifier, I think. We've already got some ducats in the bank. So let's just have a quick look at the um, the states and territories at the moment. Because we want to try and grab stuff that we... Because we, we already own Desh. Uh, and Pune would be in the same, the same uh, state or territory. If we take anything, we actually want to take Bidar, because Bidar is part of the... 
um, maiden area, which is already a state. So if we take one of them, we really want to take Bidar, if we can. It's quite possible that um, taking any of them will put us above... 10% overextension, and I don't want to do that while we have that uh, disaster still looming. So that is potentially a problem. But we're going to go and get ready to start this war. In fact, we're going to go and do it now, as soon as the autosave has finished. So, yep, they still don't have any allies. Um, we could call Malwa in, but I'm really not going to bother. Um, I actually want to take Bidar. Possibly. We'll do that anyway. We'll confirm. They've got no allies. Uh, hopefully we can beat them up. We do have our uh, vassals. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're kicking them quite easily here. Uh, let's just move in with our um, other armies. Hopefully Chandra's going to go and siege one of the provinces. Looks like they're trying to get a few uh, units built here. So we'll have to go and put a stop to that. So let's just quickly go and we'll split off. Uh, got a lot of zero unit regiments here. We'll split off one regiment just to go and sit in that province. And then this one's going to go into the province where the fort is. So at least they won't be able to train troops there. Even though we don't have enough manpower to actually... Um, we don't have enough manpower to actually do the siege. But it should stop them from training troops. So this should be a relatively quick and easy war. 666 ducats in the bank. We've probably actually gained ourselves some more force limit and naval force limit. Now, I think we've only gained one more naval force limit, so that's not all that useful. I guess that's true. I mean, we did take a lot of coast, but we didn't take it for ourselves. We took it for our vassal. We'll have all of that eventually. We need to make sure that they are coring all of this. So they're working on that core. They are working on that core. They are working on that core. And they're working on that core. Fantastic. They're actually coring all four of those provinces at the same time. Um, oh, no, actually. Um, we gave them that one as well, didn't we? I think. I can't remember. I think they only had three provinces. So they've already cored one. Uh, what do we get here? Merchants gaining some loyalty and the province becomes under the control of the Merchant Guild and we gain two base tax. Or, the alternative is the Merchant Guild lose 15 loyalty and, these, uh, and the 10 influence. Well, well, we'll give them the province, I don't mind. It saves me having to micromanage them. So this, this is a non-war, really. They're, they've got no army and they can't spawn any troops. So, that's kind of job done, really. 18,000 men in the hole now. Majority of that is caused by all of the rebellions that we've had. Still over the relationship limit. Um, we have a royal marriage and an alliance with a Sam, which we don't really need. Um, but yeah, we may want to integrate... In uh, words. May want to integrate Andra as soon as they have called all of this stuff. And that'll give, give us a border with Arissa. It'll give us a border with um, Jokhand. It'll give us a border with Bengal. And um, it's, it's, it'll give us a lot more coastline as well. So I think that is probably um, the way to go. And of course, I won't be overextended because it's not me that has to do the coring. So do I want to go and take morale of navies? That does actually help with trade, believe it or not. We need to grab it at some point. We are still um, sort of on time-ish with military tech. And we do need to s really get that sorted. So, yeah, I think we will go ahead and take that. It also puts us one idea closer to the stability cost modifier. Next one, we get naval attrition reduction, which is pretty pointless. But when we finish it off, artillery combat ability and 5% discipline, which is probably going to be um, more useful for us than... Um, oh, did they actually turn their fort off? I don't know why that happened. Uh, it'll actually probably be more useful for us than the next science tech. There we go. Let's move out of there and avoid taking any more attrition. 0% that we're actually going to... Well, 21% chance now. We've got a wall breach and we might be able to take Bidar. So it just comes down to how much overextension uh, we would get from doing it. Because I really don't like that um, the Civil War. It's very, very close to popping now. And of course, we, we've not really got a lot of manpower. Which makes it very difficult to deal with the actual... Um, the rebellions. So, 
Let's say we wanted to super sue for peace. If I wanted to take this, it would be 22% overextension. I don't think there's any one of these provinces that would give me less than 10%. No, there isn't. That's unfortunate, but that's fine. Because what I will do is I'll transfer all of these over to Chanda. So let's go and do that. We will integrate them at some point. This is just a good way of me doing it while I can't take any um, overextension. So what we can do now is we can go and give all of these to Chanda. At least they should all be going to Chanda. Yeah, Chanda, 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 Chanda. Uh, we get some aggressive expansion. Bamanis isn't going to exist anymore. Orissa already hates us. Um, Jarkand doesn't really care. So let's see how much money we can take from them. No point getting anything else because they're no longer going to exist. And send demand. And unpause the game. There we go. Fantastic. So, Bumanis now no longer exists. It doesn't look like we're all that big because Chanda and Andrew are obviously different colours, but they are part of us. So, if we actually look now, we do own a fair bit of land. And we are going to have to turn on Malwa at some point. If anyone's actually ever going to discover that and take it so we can get it. What we could do, if we wanted to, is we could actually start um, fabricating some claims on Bengal. Bengal doesn't particularly like us. They are allied with Malwa and Mong Yang. But there's certainly no reason we can't go and build a spy network there. We're not really doing anything else with our diplomats. Let's go and start building a spy network with Jane Paul. There's not a lot we can do with it, but you never know. We might be able to... Um, uh, might be able to do something with rebels. It looks like we've actually lost a leader. We did. We lost our five shot guy, which is absolutely terrible. But we've just finished a war, so our military tradition is at its peak. So let's go. We've got a, th a three, a three, three, four, two, one. That's not bad at all, actually. I'll take that. I'll t certainly take that over the generals I usually end up getting. So diplomatic idea group. Um, we are behind time on the old diplos, but. If we were to take this idea group, we'd get 10% trade efficiency, well, plus 10, yeah, 10% trade efficiency, and th that stability modifier reduction. I think we're going to go ahead and take that right now. Next one's, what's the next thing that would be useful for us? Probably the diplomat and the discipline. Again, 5% discipline here, plus 5% discipline here. So 10% discipline. We're going to be quite stompy uh, by the end of this. So what can we do here? 5 mercantilism for 1 stability, 200 admin power. 200 Diplo power. Oh, so this is people actually leaving our court. Do you know what? I'll just take the mercantilism. All that mercantilism just for the loss of one stability. That's not bad at all. And how much would it cost me to buy the stability back up? 81, 81 stability. Look at this, right? If we go into um, trade. Mercantilism. It's 100 Diplo for... Um, 100 Diplo for one Mercantilism. And we've basically just paid... Um, yeah, 100 Diplo for one Mercantilism. And we've basically just paid 81 Admin for five Mercantilism. So that was a much better trade to do. Uh, let's have a look at my rivals now. I think I've... How many rivals do I have? Just have the one rival, which is Jean Poor. I don't actually have any other rival slots. And I have no enemies. And... Um, why am I no longer over my relationship limit? Andra, Chanda, Nepal, and Malwa. So the other nation that was over here, can't remember what they were called. I think they've been completely eaten up. Were they eaten by Bengal? Who were they? It wasn't Koch. Assam. Assam no longer exists. Well, I don't mind that too much, I suppose. So we're trying to recover manpower. What provinces do we need to get that... Um, to form Barat. I, I always forget which one these are. Um, so we need Bastar, which um, we do technically kind of own because our vassal owns it. So we need Bastar and we need um, Kalingdraha, which is this one. So when we annex these guys, which actually is something that I should do pretty quickly, if they cord everything... Yep, everything is cored. So I'm going to go ahead now and annex this vassal. Uh, how long is this going to take? 43. That's a long time. 
That is a long time, but we need to get it done. So we'll start working on that. And then that'll give us some more land. So, I've still got this problem with the legitimacy. It's going up by 1.15 each year, but that's still terrible. Um, we'll take the boost in military power. I think we've still got the inflation reduction guy. We have. That's still going down. Is it because of a... Uh, yeah, yearly inflation reduction. We are making decent money. It might be worth actually going up to some rank 3 guys, to be honest. Um... What could we replace you with? A national unrest guy could be useful. Well, let's make let's try and get rid of all of that inflation first. Um, there isn't really any point going. Well, we can't get a rank three. Diplomatic reputation could be more useful. What have we got currently? Trade efficiency. We're making decent money. National manpower modifier, again, is useful. Suppose we can't get any rank three guys. We're making enough money to do so. Do I want to lose some trade efficiency? In favour of getting the diplomatic reputation. What is our diplo rep at the moment? Our diplo rep is terrible. Which is why this is so slow. So what is that saying? How is that going to take? It's not even telling us. But it's going to be a long time. So let us actually go and get the uh, diplo rep guy. Because if that increases our diplomatic reputation. Then that will actually increase the uh, annexing speed. So that's fine. And then, yeah, I'd like to get rid of this guy, but he's, he's doing a good job on the inflation. So once we've got rid of the inflation, we could, we're not really using the admin points at the moment anyway. We are not behind on tech. We're going to get another idea group soon. We'll have to decide what we're going to do with that. But I think that's enough waffle from me on this video, so I am going to stop there and end the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as Vijayanagar, and I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.